When it comes to starting your live streaming career, it can be overwhelming. And to be honest, it can be a little daunting diving in because you can get confused on software, programs, extensions, plugins, where to start, what gear is good for you, and how to make everything go smoothly for the viewer on the other end that's going to be watching you. But you know what? Things don't have to be confusing because I've got your back. I'm going to give you a full on starter guide for live streaming on Twitch. So that way you can start streaming by the end of this video without any problems and you can start on a new journey in life. Let's go. Hey, what's up all you awesome streamers? Wild for Games here helping you become bigger and better with everything Streamlabs. Real quick before we begin, it's important to remember that there's no secret to success. If you'd like to become a full-time streamer, hard work, dedication, long hours, and a deep commitment to creating engaging content is required. When it comes to being a new streamer, it's all about streaming smarter and not harder at the beginning. So pay attention to all these tips because they're going to help you grow and have a great channel on Twitch. So here we go. When it comes to streaming on Twitch, the very first thing you need is an account, which is super easy to set up. Go to twitch.tv and create an account. Only takes a few moments, but make sure you double check and reference the community guidelines to make sure that everything you plan on streaming for the content is going to be deemed appropriate. If we can also give you one extra bit of advice, we recommend setting up two-factor authentication to protect your account so that way everything's going to be safe and secure going forward now you need a broadcasting software go to streamlabs.com and download streamlabs obs once installed launch the program and it will ask you to sign in it'll know what channel you're going to stream with click twitch and fill in your login credentials this information will only be used to link your account and authorize streaming from the streamlabs software monetizing your streams is always a great way for your viewers to help support you on your journey for where you want to go which is why we recommend you connect your paypal and create a streamlabs tip page setting up a streamlabs tip page is literally one of the easiest ways to start earning income from streaming if you're logging into streamlabs.com for the first time, the onboarding process will ask you to add your PayPal email address or other supported payment processors. Once you finish that step, your tip page is ready to go. This is the fastest way to set up your donation page. If you've already logged in or skipped the onboarding process, you can also set up your tip page from the settings. Simply log into the dashboard on streamlabs.com. Click on the settings in the lower left hand corner. Click on the donation settings, method, and choose your preferred payment processor. Go through the necessary steps to connect your account. And after your account is connected, your tip page will be available at streamlabs.com and your username. You can manage the range of tip page settings from your Streamlabs dashboard. If you're not based in the US, you can choose which currency you'd like donations to appear in, set the minimum required to donate, and even adjust the recommended amount that appears for a user when they visit your tip page. You can also edit things like the message that would appear on the page when the user visits, adjust profanity filters to block out offensive words, and you can even customize the image that appears as your donation page header. When it comes to streaming, creating a unique look or aesthetic is a great way for people to remember you. And some of the best ways to create a unique brand include social media, overlays, Twitch panels, and alerts. Your brand literally starts with social media. There are many social media platforms to choose from, but we strongly recommend starting with Twitter because it is the most popular in creator content when it comes to the gaming space. This is where you want to start communicating with the world about your stream. Start promoting your channels and headers for when you're live streaming. Make sure you include links in your about section of your Twitch channel. Social media acts as a way to really amplify your brand and awareness and consider it like a digital business card for every time somebody comes across your channel. Stream overlays make it super easy to grab people's attention while you show off your personality and unique style. There are over 250 free overlay themes available on Streamlabs. You can also upgrade to Streamlabs Prime to unlock more unique themes that may fit your aesthetic and style. Panels provide viewers with links to important websites that you want them to see. This can be everything from your Twitter, 
Instagram, tip page, and anything else in between. If you have the skills, you can use Photoshop to create awesome Twitch panels. But if you don't feel like you're creative enough, you can use the Streamlabs new Twitch panel editor to make some awesome, cohesive, and unique panels that will be awesome for your Twitch channel. If you wanna use Streamlabs Twitch Panel Maker, that can be found once you log into streamlabs.com and navigate over to the left nav bar. Having alerts is a crucial element of any live broadcast on Twitch. It helps you stand out from the rest of the crowd, keeps viewers coming back, and encourages others to interact with your live stream. On-screen alerts are sometimes the viewer's first impression of your channel, so we really recommend you take some time to really dial them in, so that way they have a long-lasting impression. To add alerts, you need to add an alert box widget to your live stream. Widgets are features you can add in Streamlabs OBS to help you interact and engage with your community. If you need to learn more about widgets in Streamlabs OBS, you can check out this video right up here. To add the alert box widget, press on the plus sign in the sources section of Streamlabs OBS. Now select alert box from the pop-up menu. After you're done adding your source, viewers will see our default alert up here on screen for when anything is triggered on stream. Followers, subscribers, bits, donations, you name it. And this is a great opportunity for you as a streamer to thank the people that are help supporting your stream. Plus, it's also going to encourage others to interact with your stream. When it comes to alerts, there's two types of alerts. There's pre-made alerts and custom alerts. Pre-made alerts are great for somebody who wants to get up and streaming right away by using all the different themes that you can find in the Streamlabs store. If you wanna have a little extra dialed in custom brand awareness to your stream, that's where custom alerts come into play. You can manually customize your alerts by navigating to the Streamlabs dashboard and clicking on alert box on the left-hand side. From here, you can choose to edit your general settings, which will affect every single type of alert and or further customize specific alert types. Depending on the platform you choose, your alert types will differ. For example, we're gonna be using Twitch here, which is why you'll see customizations for follow, subscription, host bits, etc. General settings apply to every alert type. You can edit the alert delay, mod approvals, profanity filters, and add custom bad words, plus so much more. To customize an alert, click on a specific event type you wish to edit. On this page, you can customize the layout of the alert, the image or GIF that's played, sound, font, animation, duration, and more. Now when the alert's triggered, all of the changes that you made will show and populate on screen. Adding alert variations allows you to play exclusive alerts if a viewer meets certain conditions. For example, let's say you want a special alert to play when someone donates you $10 or more. Click on the open variation and add a variation with default alert settings or custom alert settings. Name your new variation. In this case, we'll call it donations greater than 10. Set the correct condition so that tips over $10 trigger a different alert. Remember, each alert type will have specific conditions. We recommend getting familiar with each alert type and the conditions available for each one. Now when someone donates you $10 or more, your awesome graphic will appear on your stream. Now all your graphics, visuals, and alerts are ready to go for your stream. But let's now talk about what are the best settings for your stream that's going to Twitch. The nice thing about Streamlabs OBS is if you're a brand new Twitch streamer, Streamlabs OBS has an auto optimizer feature that automatically scans your internet speed and computer hardware to give you our recommended settings. To access this feature, open Streamlabs OBS, navigate to settings and general. This is the easiest way to jump into streaming right away with no mess. If you're more tech savvy, you can adjust settings within Streamlabs OBS to help ensure optimal quality. When it comes to your viewer's experience, quality and resolution really matters. The output of your video resolution can have a significant impact on the quality of your live stream and the performance of your Streamlabs OBS. For example, streaming at 1080p versus 720p will double the number of pixels, which means your computer will be using more resources. To adjust your resolution, select video from the side panel in the settings window. You can leave the base canvas resolution as your computer's native resolution, but we recommend lowering the output scaled resolution since we're streaming in 1080p can have significant impact on your CPU. We recommend lowering the output scaled resolution to 1280 by 720 for a good balance between performance and quality. When it comes to choosing encoders, there's two types, 
software which is X264, and hardware which is NVENC. The software encoder X264 will use your CPU to encode video while hardware encoders like NVENC utilize a dedicated encoder in the GPU allowing you to play your stream without compromising game performance. If you're using an NVIDIA graphics card, we recommend you stream with NVENC. To change the CPU usage preset, navigate to output in the settings window. X264 offers a range of usage presets. This refers to how fast the CPU encodes video. The faster it encodes, the less CPU it uses. By default, this is set to very fast, which provides the best balance between performance and quality. NVENC presets range from low latency, optimal performance, and max quality. We recommend starting with quality preset and experimenting from there to find what works best for you. In a recent update to Streamlabs OBS, we included a feature called Dynamic Bitrate. This feature allows your software to automatically adjust your bitrate based on your network conditions to prevent dropping frames. If your computer and internet speed can't handle the bitrate you've set, you may experience drop frames to improve the stability of your stream and minimize latency. To enable dynamic bitrate, navigate to the settings window and click advance. Scroll down and toggle the box next to the option that says dynamically change bitrate when dropping frames while streaming. You can also manually edit your bitrate. Twitch has some recommended specs, which I'm gonna put here up on screen. So feel free to pause, so that way you can see what would work best for your stream and you can make the appropriate adjustments for your stream on Twitch. If there's one thing that you need to know starting your streaming adventures on Twitch is everybody's gonna have a different setup and a different approach to streaming. So what may work for someone may not work for you. So always remember that. Don't be afraid to experiment and really dial in what's best for you and your audience and your brand. Now, if you need any more help with anything Streamlabs or growing or even using that platform to the best of its abilities, that's where I come in to help you. I'm gonna put a couple of videos here up on screen that are gonna make you bigger and better with Streamlabs. My name's Wild for Games, wishing you the best of luck on your Twitch streaming career. And as always, take care and of course, Peace.